Hi guys, just got home from work. No, actually, that's not true. I did get home from work and then I took a nap. And but I realized that I have a show. I have to attend a show in that's at eight. So actually, I was invited for two shows. I can't even explain because I'm too tired. But I really want to go. So I'll go to one of the shows. And yeah so i don't even know what to wear i have to leave the house in 20 minutes and i'm hungry and i'm a mess i think this is the biggest fashion week i've i will be attending so like the I'll, I'll be attending a lot of shows and stuff shows presentations but i i feel like i'm not mentally prepared and i feel like it's going to be chaotic or maybe it won't be and i'm really happy so yeah I just need to eat something and then we'll get started on outfits yes i'm so excited actually as i'm talking i'm getting i'm getting more energy so that's a good thing and yeah cool okay i'll see you guys later so, okay so what i hope to do for this fashion week is for every presentation or show that i tend to at the end of the day, I can do a recap and then and then just like talk about what I like, what was interesting, and yeah, I'm really excited. To be honest, I didn't know that I would get accepted to that many shows. This is Amber, uh, the color Amber from, Glos uh, from Glossier. And I am in love with that color. I don't know how to explain it to you, but yeah, bro, there's no, there's no need to retouch anything concealer. I'm going like this. This is the Le Printemps by Yves Saint Laurent. This is my favorite perfume. Okay, so this is what I'm going. I'm going with the all, all oversized look. It's 9 p.m. and I did go to the venue, but. They said that they were at capacity, so I wasn't able to see the show. So it's fine. I just know now that tomorrow and the other days, I just have to be there a bit earlier to make sure that I can attend the shows. And yeah, <sighs> I was tired. I'm tired. I know that tonight there is the Vogue World event in London. So I'm just going to see a little pic. I'm just going to just watch on social media to see who's attending um not gonna lie i did try to see if i if they had tickets available they had tickets available for the event but they were like 300 pounds plus and it's like i don't have that money like clearly i'm not the demographic that they were looking for it really humbled me but it's okay tomorrow is uh, another day and yeah Okay, I um, can actually sleep. Okay, I don't know. Happy London Fashion Week, guys. I'm so happy. So this is the outfit of the day. I'm wearing the same skirt. And I have this blue scarf that I turned into as top. I have quite a busy day. One, two, three, So I have four shows slash presentations today. And I do have to get going because I'm already late for the first presentation. Are you guys ready? Let's go.
choice. What a day, oh my god. Actually, there's another show in about an hour, an hour and a half, but I won't go because I'm so tired, I have a headache. Tomorrow is quite busy. The first thing I have is at 10.30. Oh, but I think I got another, I keep getting last minute invitations. I keep getting last minute invitations, poor me. <laughs> Now, uh, there is one that is very interesting. Okay, that's tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. I'll just figure out. I think I need to take a nap. But, okay, what I wanted to say was that on Monday I film a video that should be posting on today. I haven't finished editing yet because I'm so lazy and I don't know how to manage my time. So that's another issue. And basically the video is about how New York Fashion Week is not but it used to be and so today I was on TikTok for like my internship because I had needed to post content and I saw like there is this fight there's a fight that happened I don't know today or yesterday it's a girl from Canada and she was refused access because I don't know what but the PR person was so uh, like yeah which is so scary it's like um yesterday when they told us Cause that's so weird because yesterday they told us oh we're at capacity so we won't be able to let other people in and people were really understanding and I, I didn't see anyone fight if they're telling you it's full it's full like they're not gonna be able to like push you in and so yeah and I learned that okay I can't leave I can't be there 10 minutes before I need to be there at least 30 minutes before the show to make sure that I have my place Unless I'm VIP, but I'm not a VIP, I just have a regular ticket. So, what happened yesterday, people were very respectful, like, okay, yes, sure, thank you. But that, going like this in, in the US, I think this is a reason why. I think it just proved my point that, uh, I don't see people are entitled in the US, but it's just like, oh my god. And then I saw this other thing about uh, this guy he was trying like someone was trying like, i think it's like a stylist who wanted to go to a show he was invited to a show but the guards were not letting them in well not like the guy in and it was just like this whole chaos i'll just put anything on the videos there but i do understand now why new york fashion week is considered dead it's not because new york fashion week is dead that new york as a whole cannot be a capital of fashion I, I do still think that New York is a very important place for fashion. Great example, the Met Gala. Where's the Met Gala? In New York, obviously. And the first Vogue world was in New York. So clearly New York has a is a really important place when it comes to fashion. But just New York fashion New, just New York fashion look as a whole is just not it anymore. I think the the either need to rebrand or and I think a lot of people would be mad is to um is to uh, gatekeep or just make it more exclusive because clearly it's not working or but I do think or maybe just like making less shows available to the public because from what I'm seeing it's not working it really isn't I'm really grateful that I get invited to shows as a regular person also like I, f I feel like this video like this my youtube channel is helping somewhat because I I do promote, like, I do tell myself, oh yeah, like I, I don't, I can't even speak today. But the way I present myself to the brand is like, hey, I just started a YouTube channel about fashion and stuff like that. And I would really be happy to report. And some of them are like, oh, we don't have any space, or they're like, yeah, we're, we're, we're down. And I get to go to shows, which is really interesting. And speaking of talking about shows, let's do a little recap of the day. I'll do it like this because I'm really comfortable. Okay, so first event I went to was the Phoebe English presentation. It was really nice. The venue was at the Image Gallery in 
like New York Piccadilly Circus, and it was really nice. Um, for what I understand, I didn't arrive on time, but they did show the presentation over and over again, so that it was nice. Actually, I met three people from Montreal. It was it's so random because I never get to meet people from Montreal, but at the same time, I do see Quebecois everywhere. <laughs> They're everywhere. Like every time you're going on vacation, you're gonna see a, a Quebecois, hands down. But it was so cool to meet people from my hometown. I, I don't, I, I don't know them, but I heard the Quebecois accent. And I was like, oh, I know where they're from, and we just had a, this little conversation. It was really cool. Okay, talking about the presentation. Oh, to be honest, I'm like so happy. What I can say about this presentation is the fact that it's I don't want to say like simple, but it's you uh uniform colors it's not crazy motifs or something like that uh like prints it's just one single color which i really appreciate and from there um the reason why i like single colors is because you get to play more with the texture and the sewing and for example styling so i i get to enjoy more of that aspect when it comes to just simple colors both fabrics single color fabrics that's what i want to say i'm looking at this yellow uh, dress which is so nice because you can see you can see it's like multiple levels it's not just like one uniform hem it, it, it is it, just, it doesn't cut at just one height it's just multiple which is really nice it was a very diverse inclusive um show because there were multiple body types skin color age so we like that oh that was also nice another thing, reason why i get to like single color fabrics is because you get to do this the heart and then the ruching outside is very interesting i really like it with you um on this because i was really at somewhere else Gosh, I, pop out I can't i can't talk my fr i think my favorite book was the quotes they're so it, it looks so cozy it's really well made okay and then the second show i went to was the erin heyhow show ow and it was at the phoenix garden which it's a part i i would never go there yeah i think the great part about london fashion week is the fact that i get to explore london as i'm going to different venues so the phoenix garden was some I never heard about this place and it's such a beautiful space to do a fashion show actually um, yeah it was so so great these drinks and it was a um, non-alcoholic non-alcoholic spirit and I think they had non-alcoholic drinks because the designer is completely sober from what I've heard the bartender added um, ginger syrup and some flowers oh it was so good so refreshing because i was at that point i was starving and i was so thirsty it was a beautiful day it was a beautiful day but yeah so good the really cool part about this um about this setting was the fact that um you got to sit on well there were you could sit pretty much anywhere in the garden but i chose to sit sit in front at the very front so technically it was front row <laughs> and it was so you had benches around the um, garden but you also had rocks that was like that were basically your bench um did it hurt my butt a bit but sometimes fashion is pain i really like that show because um first of all the models were walking all around the garden but also they would stop and then they would just like move so you got to see the pieces quite up close i think if i were to redo if watch the show or anything we invite be reinvited to the show i would sit somewhere in the garden and not in front of the the building yeah the building where i was sitting was really beautiful but i think it would be more even cooler if i was in the garden and then they would just come the models would come do their movement and then go because oh it's it's so beautiful i'll just show you images it's so pretty the name of the show is into the mystique when i think of nature and garden i i see myself not wearing something like super tailored and super um perfect 
I, it, it gave me it gave me that vibe of comfort. I think this is one of my favorite outfits. This one. I, I think I'm really into the big coats and everything. So, yeah. And I also like the element of um, I don't know how you call it in English, but mousse in the forest, the little green things that are on the trees in English. So I like the fact that they would incorporate it as a top or as a detail or the details were little flowers or branches and I, it's just like very calm. Okay, so some of the models were in socks and some had uh, very interesting shoes and it's like those... Um, that's why it gives me this vibe of comfort. It's like comfort in the nature which is just really interesting. I don't get, I, I, how can I explain this? It's not my typical style, but the fact that I, I was um, just experiencing this whole world that I'm not used to was really interesting. So I really like that one, really like that show. What did I do after that? I t after that, I went to eat some food, but let me tell you something. I am a sucker for the Elizabeth line. It's like the newest, it's the newest line um, in the in London. And every time I have the opportunity to take the Elizabeth line, I'll take it because it's new, it's well, there's a there's AC, there are the little screens that tell you the time and uh, the, the stops. It's so, I love it, it's so modern. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, and then I went to my third show, which was the first fashion scout of the of the fashion week and these were the designers there was Bar Barbie, Ilyu Jun, Mao Dot Couture, River Peace and Pablo Salvador Willemars. Willemars, sorry. Okay, this show was so interesting. Oh, first of all, I got there 30 minutes earlier and I was so happy because not only I was one of the first people to be like coming in so I knew that my place was secured and second of all because there were a lot of people after after like 15 minutes it got quite busy I'm gonna say and I don't think they got the they managed to put everyone in and second of all I was first row I was sitting first row what that's so crazy <laughs> yeah um the first designer was Ida Jun I feel like it's very something that I would wear so I really like that one and I think my favorite was this outfit which is a, like an ensemble top and sh skirt but they had these um, see-through pants just this oh, this pink oh. the top is well made the third designer was Barbie and it's very athletic I don't know much about athletic because I don't really wear athletic unless I'm going to bed or I'm going to the gym, which is almost never. But I, I'm not, I'm not disappointed. Like it's really good. The 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 assemble the I, do you call it ensemble assemble? I feel like I'm not saying it right. This assemble of legging and top, I would buy that. Okay, and then this was Mao da Couture or just Mao Couture, we'll just say. Yeah, this show was really nice. This is this is the thing that I like about new designers is because I'm not like they have nothing to lose. Like they're they're sh they're showing their first few collections, so it's very likely that they will exceed your expectations. Like what? And the shorts? <gasps> the guy that was wearing the shorts. I love the shorts. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> the shorts. Iconic. Oh yeah, this. I love, I just love how they incorporate the the accessories throughout all the shows that I went to today. Just how they accessorize and because accessories make your fit more complete. I don't know what the, that was more of a, I so this one was a bag with honestly like a, a pipe. It's not a pipe. It's more of a, that looks like a shower head. <laughs> And then the last um, designer was Willa Morris, and it was about La Voix. So think of train, La Voix, so the road, basically. And that was really cool. The outfits were very much based on 
what you see in the train so the logo of the train or one model who has a big what's it called like a postage bag so that was really cool and this the model has something around her neck and it made me think of the on the plane where you have Pusa, <laughs> the big pillows neck pillows Whew. my english is not englishing today so yeah that made me think of that although it's not inflatable but it's it's really around the neck so it made me think of that um but yeah oh oh my god this oh my god so i at first i was like oh maybe it's just um it's a uh, come on how do you say couverture in english okay google comment on dit couverture en anglais blanket okay so blanket <laughs> google <laughs> okay so this which i think is one of my favorite pieces i thought it was a blanket and but then when the model turned i was like wait is that a blanket or it's um it's a um, a coat because the hand the arm was <gasps> genius love it just the overall styling and how the clothes fit the models iconic and then i went to bond street but because of fashion week it's not bond street it's burberry street what it's so crazy and this is why i say that traditional marketing is just just hits I know we pay, I know influencers are the new way of marketing, but sometimes traditional marketing just hits. It just hits. I don't know how much Burberry has paid into, has paid into this marketing. The whole station of Bunchery was, was Burberry rice. Burberry rice. <laughs> Um, so I, w I was on the Elizabeth line and then I checked on the central line or the Jubilee line so even oh my god that oh, I love I love this marketing oh my god. best marketing ever so usually it says Bond Street but they put a sticker to say Burberry Street genius and then I went to on to central line and central line is usually red but they put a blue thing sticker to hide the Bond Street so everything was blue and then there's the little logo of Burberry the details oh oh my god I'm so obsessed with this this is so cool and then I went to Suffrages because they have a Vogue world pop-up and it's so cute and they have all the recent Vogue covers from US Turkey, Spain, India, all of the places Vogue World Wild and outside of the suffrages if you are into fashion you must follow you already know style.com and he's actually reporting live every time well he's reporting live on Instagram and at suffrages they had a huge blue screen with all the all the posts of style.com so that was really cool very interesting Okay, and then I went to the INF um, pop-up shop. The pieces are very interesting and I'm so impressed with the stitches. Like the stitching and everything. There was this one, tr uh, there was a top and it's black on black. Like it's all black and but you can see the dimensions and everything. Love it. Oh, this was interesting. It's a skirt. Obviously it's black but underneath there's a motif. And the, that much was really repetitive around like the store, but I like this, like this motif, and then on top you can see like the black covering. Oh my god! And then on my way back home, I had to go back to Bond Street, and outside it said Burberry Street. It's so cute. I'm obsessed. I am literally obsessed. And literally all the way down, like when you're taking the, the tube, it said Burberry, Burberry. So just this marketing is incredible. I am, I, I love this. If someone from Burberry is watching this, you are incredible. Whoever had this idea of switching Burberry to Bond Street to Burberry Street, 
I hope you get a raise because that is genius. What would have been funnier is that they should have said um in the like in the metro next stop Burberry Street. Oh my god, that would have been so iconic. Oh, that that was a missed opportunity. But I th I feel like it would just confuse the tourists. So yeah, they had to say Bond Street. Yeah, oh, but this I think that was the highlight of my day. <laughs> Uh, then, then the fashion the fashion show that I went to, that Burberry Street marketing thing was iconic, iconic. Hopefully next season, next year, I get to go to a Burberry show because at this point, I'm just a fan. I want to go there. I want to buy. I want to do everything Burberry. Like, I'm obsessed. I don't know. I'm, I, I feel like I can talk about this for days. Burberry Street is the best marketing thing I've, I've ever seen. I've ever witnessed. What? So tomorrow is another day. Actually, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna skip the first two stuff of the day because from what I've heard, there is a pop-up shop in Notting Hill where Prada gives you free um, flower seeds or something like that. So I want to check that out. And near Temple, um, Amos is doing a pop-up shop near the Strand. And I want to check that out because apparently they can do free caricatures, they do free tarot readings. The tarot reading sold me. I don't want to do that. I've never had someone do a tarot reading on myself. And it's free, so she better not say bullshit. Okay. But I want to do that. And I think that's pretty much it. And then I think during the rest of the day, I'll go to the shows and everything. But yeah, I, I think I need to take a nap. I need to eat some food. And... Let's do this. I'm ready for tomorrow. Okay. Bunny. Bye. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, as I was, I just said, I just wish you good night. I went to Instagram because I posted the Burberry Street thing and like the, the Stanlock Come thing on my story. And literally Stanlock Come mentioned me on my story. I love fashion week. Oh my god, I love fashion week. Ah, this is so cool. I'm so happy. <laughs> Wait, let me give him a blue heart because that's what he deserves. Oh my god, I was not expecting that. <gasps> okay, now good night. <laughs>